Well, the dreaded cotton harvest. We got to do a lot in October. Been somewhat looking forward to this and somewhat dreading it. So what is the best thing to do for cotton? Do we do a headland? Do we just run over the crop? Yeah, I think let's go ahead and I think I'll just start by getting the headland done here. Get our view correct. Get all activated there. Boy, I'm in for a long night with this harvest. Going pretty good so far. Two yards, 0.2 yards of cotton. And this is the one where we can empty half finished bales of cotton. So that's good because we will run into that problem. And the yield a little bit better than last time when we cut just the grass in this area. This is our first time actually harvesting a field here. Always fun to, to see how the yield bonuses and the yield percentages turn out on a new field. And being cotton, and this is our biggest field, so I'm hoping for big dollar amounts when it comes time to sell it. Since we've decided not to pursue the productions for cotton and wool, I figured it would just be a little bit too much for us to chew. And look at this nice dark green in the yield here. Yeah. What is going to be the best path to do passes? Almost feel like there's going to be multiple. Oh boy. Going to use percentages this time around because yards, you know, it doesn't really make any sense to me. I don't know what the full amount is. So maybe after we get one bale here, we can use those terms. But I'm going to do two headlands, actually get back to, I guess, the west side of the field and we'll do ups and downs there. But we're at about 30%, a little under 30% after doing the headland. If I remember right, we got one and a half bales last time we did cotton. So I would imagine our goal here is, I would say four. I want four bales. No idea what a realistic number would be on this size of a cotton field. Very limited experience with cotton. And we're approaching 100% finally. You can see we missed a big strip over there when I messed up my guided steering configuration, but we can get it later if we want to. I don't feel like it's gonna make a huge difference in our profit here. We might not get to 100 by the end of this row though. This is kind of insane. 99% now. So what do we get like 26.2 yards maybe? There it is, 26.1. Oh, it stops harvesting? I guess that makes sense. Uh, lift back up faster. We pulled it off. All right, so that one will be there. We'll have to remember to stop next time. We'll let it get all closed before we continue. Get a good view of it when we turn around here. There it is. Some good money sitting right there. Oh. Come on, guided steering. At this point, I think we're gonna get just two full bales and a partial one for the third. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll get that third full bale. And are we gonna get to 100 before the pass? We don't, that's disappointing. We'll lock into place here on the next spot. Get to 100, we should hear it shut off here in just a second. There it is. And we'll go ahead and creep back just a little bit. Let that unload. We get a good view of it this time. Look at all that cotton. Look at all that money. To my surprise, we've got our third full bale. That's exciting. This did turn out to be much better of a harvest output wise than the last one. And I don't remember how much money we got per bale, so that'll all be That'll be fun to discover here in a little bit when we do decide to go sell these. It's like, how partial can these bales be? How partial? Here we go, a little 10% finished 2.7 yard bale. It looks, it looks pretty big. Okay. And then close that. As much as I enjoyed that, this was somewhat part of my plan the whole time. Once we decided not to do the spinnery, we're gonna sell this. We're not gonna do cotton anymore. That'll be the last time doing cotton in new lands. Put and repair it. We're gonna do the whole shebang here. And we have almost half a million dollars in our name now. Yeah, that was a wise decision. All right, we'll have to make a couple trips. We're only gonna be able to fit one of these per our trip. And maybe we can get the little one on here too. Yeah, we'll see about that. And then it'll be two trips, because I think we can get two on here. So 28 yards for our first trip. 
And I think that means this will be roughly $50,000. Close to it. Don't you do it, blue car. Ah. I got good momentum, dude. Don't cut me off like that. All right, last time I drove up here, I missed my turn. And it wasn't even the right place anyways. There we go. Oh, I tried not to take the sign out this time, but we did. We'll cruise on over here. And I should be able to just do that. And there's one. Yeah, look at this 50, 60,000 bucks. We're at 500 and 3,000 dollars. Let's go back and get those other two and get another 100,000 in the accounts. And then we'll look at how much we owe on that lease and get the new tractor and planter or cedar all paid off. All right, unstrap them. And watch the cash flow. Got a hundred and nine thousand dollars there. All right, let's uh, let's look at our accounts here. Come in here. We got this cedar still and purchase two hundred. Ah, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. But we're out of debt and have three hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars. Living large. Well, we made pretty good time doing that harvest. We're going to have enough time to do the rest of our chores in October, it looks like. We need to cut the grass, get that baled. We'll do another session of silage for that one. And then after that, we're going to take care of some weeds, but I'm going to hire some help around the farm to do some mulching. So we're going to go ahead and head on over here. And I thought, you know, after we did the rolling with this tractor, it would be pretty entertaining to hook it up to this this uh this mulcher here and get the get this tractor to do it i'm having a hard time expressing myself but uh let's pull forward a little bit more and we'll go two headlands we're gonna go sharp edges or corners and we'll start at the first waypoint and there shouldn't be anything in their way should be good and we should start seeing a mulch state and we do. That's perfect. And while that is going, we're going to go hook this up to the mowing equipment. Get that all set up on Follow Me with the John Deere and the baler. Get our silage all prepped. And we have 591% in this one already. That's hilarious. All right. All right. That. And we're configured. So now we should just have to lower these over the front, back, activate them, and cruise along and get it, get it cut. Absolutely love this new process. What a profitable day it's been already on Newlands. I didn't turn on the baler. Oh, we'll have to do that part ourselves. Okay, so we'll lower it, turn it on, and then activate. Oh, what a doofus. It's not a lot to, to do on our own later on. Turned around, saw this big mound of grass in front of us, was like, oh no. to go ahead and just cruise over this again i know this isn't like realistic or we wouldn't do this but this is one way to get follow me to work is this really the speed i think we're gonna go a little bit slower just to make sure follow me can keep up look at that mulching getting done beautiful
Well, we got a little too far ahead of the baler, so it did stop following us, but it still saved us a ton of time. So we'll get this last pass here all cut, get the cutting equipment, the mowing equipment put away, and then we will pick up where the baler left off. And here we go. Just cruising along. The John Deere and the quick bale. And done. Not a bad days of work so far. I got a couple more jobs I want to get done, but nighttime is chasing us. At minimum, I need to get those fields sprayed, and I'd like to get lime and fertilizer put down on the grass field, but I think I need to prioritize the weeds first. So we will go ahead and fold this on up, put it away, and go get the sprayer. Workers flying! Doing a great job mulching this field. I don't know what we're going to plant here yet, but I thought I'd start getting it prepped, because... Since it's the big one, we'll want to prioritize that next. We loaded some herbicide in here earlier on today, so we're all set to go. Just got to get it unfolded, start the spraying session. Away we go. And we're on to the second field. I think we're going to get this done before our helper gets done with the mulching. At least it seems that way. And all done with that task. Next, we will still, ch still chase in the sun. I want to get all of this done. Got to get these bales moved so we can get lime put down and then some fertilizer. So it looks like we got, what is that, nine? Nine bales on this one and 26 on the other load. Not too bad. I think what I'll do is try to sneak up here and fill these back up. Yeah, and then we'll get those other ones as a second load. And we'll park right here for now, right in front of the John Deere. And it's ready to go. Already loaded up. Like I said, trying to beat the sun. So we're doing things a little aggressive. Probably could go every other time doing lime and fertilizer, but I like maximizing our profits. Another task complete. I think what we'll do is we'll shut this off. We're going to make a mess right here. Yep, all of that lime. We're going to put it back in here momentarily. But we're going to go pick up that fertilizer that we put down on the field over here the other day. And we're going to use it. And hopefully it's enough. And they finally finished the mulching. That's nice. We'll get the other two fields probably in November that need mulched. Hey, I don't think two yards is going to be enough, but we'll give it a shot. And there it goes. It's only turning into orange. It might be enough. And it was enough fertilizer. Look at that. That's nice. All that's left to do is I'm going to empty this. I wish I could just use it. Maybe I can. We don't have to store it anymore. Let's go ahead and drive over to this field and see if it'll let us put fertilizer down. Just use this up. Oh, yeah, very nice. Get a little a little ahead of progress for us. Maybe I'll do this whole field, potentially, and all out. So we'll go, like I said, we'll pick these up just to get them out of the way. Probably be using this for lime next anyways. But that's where I'm going to leave you. I'll see you next time. I'm Socks Way Up.